Okay, welcome back. So now we're going to start involving, uh, basically talking about applications of um, that involve dealing with right triangles, okay, or solving right triangles. So there are many trigonometric applications that do involve um, solving for a right triangle. For example, you might be given an angle, an acute angle, and uh, one of the sides of the triangle, and you're asked to solve for one of the missing sides, or you're given both sides or two sides of the right triangle and you're asked to solve for an acute angle. Um, for example, in this example that I'm going to do, it involves an, ele uh, an, an elevation, an angle of elevation, which will give us a right triangle in this case. So let's do this example and we'll go, uh, I'm going to do that first. Okay, so now in this example it involves a surveyor, okay? So I'm going to read the problem and I'm going to draw it out, okay? So picture, so always if you could draw a picture, that'd be fantastic, okay? You won't always, you may not always be able to draw a picture, but if you can, it helps. So it says a surveyor stands 115 feet from the base of the Washington Monument, okay? So let's say we have the surveyor, right? So we have this Washington Monument. We don't have to draw the monument, you know, you, know, you don't have to be an artist. But let's say this is my, um, monument here and so let's say this is my where the where my surveyor is standing okay so here's where the surveyor is standing and so again he's he's standing 115 feet from the monument so i know that this length here is 115 feet all right so let's keep reading. The surveyor measures the angle of elevation to the top of the monument to be 78.3 degrees. Okay, so that means angle of elevation, angle of elevation from the perspective or from the surveyor. So again, we're not gonna, we're gonna assume that this surveyor has zero height, right? Um, for us to, to make this work, right? So I'm gonna, connect his eyesight, right? So he's looking up, right? Uh, with this device. And so that's the angle. So he's saying the angle elevation here is 78.3 degrees, I think is what it's, a, yeah, 78.3 degrees. Now here's the question. It says, how tall is the Washington Monument? Well, that means that I'm just solving for this side of this right triangle. Okay, so here I've got the adjacent side. I've got the interior angle, the acute angle here, 78.3 degrees. And so now what I'm going to do is use my trigonometric identities, use my uh, to solve for the missing side, which I'll write as H for height. Okay, so now uh, let's do it. Okay, so again, you'll, you'll need your calculators. Okay, so it says here, so again, um, what trigonometric function are we gonna use? Well, since this is the angle and these are the two sides, we want the relationship of these two sides. So it involves opposite and adjacent, which means that we're gonna have to use tangent or cotangent. And so in this case, we'll just use tangent. So we'll say tangent of theta, right? So this is our theta, is equal to what? Opposite over adjacent. Okay, so now, so this is facing tangent of 78 Point three degrees. Now here's another thing to keep in mind. We're using degrees, so make sure that your calculator is in degree mode when you're doing this problem, okay? If, if I had it in radians and I forgot to change it to degrees, this would be wrong, okay? Um, so it give me the wrong answer is what I'm saying. So tangent of 78.3 degrees is equal to opposite, which is H, we don't know that, that's what we're trying to find, divided by the adjacent side, which is 115 feet, okay? So now all I have to do is solve for H, so I know H 
is equal to 115 times the tangent of 78.3 degrees. Okay, so now all I have to do is plug that into my calculator. Okay. And what I'm going to get is approximately 555 feet. Okay. Always make sure you use units when units are given. All right. That's it. Have a great day.